When I tell you I haven't seen anything like this in my lifetime that I've been in the beauty industry, I mean it. This is the Refai Skin Finish Water-Based Loose Setting Powder. It looks like powder as you can see, but it feels like water on the skin. And if you're afraid to use setting powders because it either cakes up or dries your skin, then you're in for a treat. Let's begin by prepping the skin and I'm going to be using the Kahi Multi Balm. If you're used to watching K-drama, you would have seen this product. This has clearly become a part of my everyday skincare routine. Whether I apply makeup or not, I definitely use this. So I'm applying a generous amount to fill in all those pores and fine lines and smooth out my skin before I apply anything else over it. And to keep my lips hydrated, I'm going to be using the Indeed Hydroluron Tinted Lip Treatment. And for under my eyes, I'm going to be using the Silk Peony by Tatcha. This is one of the mildest eye creams that I've used. And while it deeply moisturizes, it's going to prevent the concealers that you apply under your eyes from settling in any dry areas or patches and caking up. Next up, if you have discoloration like me on your skin and you want to neutralize everything and don't want those ashy tones when you apply your foundation or concealer, then it's important to color correct. I'm going to be using the Peach Corrector from EXA. This is the high fidelity color corrector and you can see the difference as soon as I've applied it. The dark circles and patches have a blue undertone. So when you apply a peach corrector over it, it cancels the blue and neutralizes it. Now for foundation, I'm going to be using the Haley's Reform Liquid Luxe Foundation in the shade 4.3. I'm dotting it on my face first before I spread it out with the Real Techniques foundation brush. I prefer to apply it this way because there's less product wastage. When you pick up a foundation with a brush or a sponge, it'll start absorbing it even before you apply it on your face. The glow of this foundation is insane. I love the coverage. This is completely sold out on the brand's website, but I did find it on Amazon and I'm going to link it down below in the description box. Don't forget to bring the foundation down to your neck as well, even if it matches your face color. Sometimes you might have discoloration or uneven skin tone on your neck. The foundation is going to take care of concealing all of that. Using the Milani Concealer in the shade 145, I'm going to completely conceal any of the dark circles or patches that are still peeking through. And that's going to be mostly around my eyes, around my nostrils and around my mouth. Now, why am I showing you all this? Because I want to show you the proper way of using a base before you use the setting powder. The brush that I'm using is the Laura Geller Fluffy Concealer Brush. It's so easy to blend out the concealer with this without much product being absorbed by the brush. So you get really good coverage. Now it's time to use the setting powder. Here's the powder we're talking about today. This is the Skin Finish Setting Powder. It's water-based. This is from Refai. It comes in two different shades. Shade one has more of a warmer yellow undertone and shade two that I bought has a pink undertone. And I bought the shade two because I have dark circles and I thought the pink will help. The brand recommends using this with their sponge, uh, but I did not buy their sponge. I just bought the powder. So I just ended up using my own sponge and it worked just fine. The sponge is dry, not wet or damp. So it's dry. I'm going to dip it in this powder and I'm going to gently press it under my eyes. I'm going to first use the powder only on my right side so we can compare it with my left side. And I'm going to repeat myself. I haven't experienced anything like this so far. It had a cooling effect. It felt cold to the touch. It almost felt like I'd left the powder in the refrigerator and I was now using it, but it felt really nice, especially under the eyes. And you can see instantly it gives you that filtered effect without a filter. I have fine lines under my eyes and it is not caking up. If I shut my eyes and use this without knowing what product it is, it feels like water. And if you look at the ingredients in this powder, the first one that pops up is aqua water. This is an extremely finely milled powder. It doesn't even feel like powder. It is just so unique and different. I'm going to be using the same dry sponge to set the rest of my face. Here's my right side completely set and you can see the difference between my right and left. 
although you can see a little bit of the texture on my right side because it's still skin but the powder is not settling in anything i have fine lines especially under my eyes and mouth i have very strong smile lines it's not even settling in my smile lines now i'm going to get done setting on my left side as well I'll be stepping out so I'm going to be finishing the rest of my makeup. First I'm going to be using Airbrow from Kosas. This is a clear brow gel. It comes with a spoolie so I'm going to be using it to brush my brow hair upwards and give it some shape. And then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a coat of mascara. I'm using the Rem Beauty Mascara. Refai was founded by Jess Hunt and I'm so happy for her because she's come up with something so unique. Like the lip kit they launched, I recently spoke about it. You apply the lip liner and seal it and it's not going to budge, it's not going to move and it's not going to transfer. And it comes in fabulous colors. So I'm pretty excited to see what else they're coming up with. But the couple products that they've launched are super hits. And on my lips, I'm going to finish up with a tinted lip balm. This is by Pixi. It's the Rose Lip Nourisher. It's basically a rose infused lip balm that smooths out your lips and gives you that hint of tint and shine. That's all I need for every day. So I usually use this instead of a lipstick. And of course, I'm going to seal and lock everything with a setting spray. I'm going to be using my favorite, the Benefit Super Setter. And here's the finished look. It feels like nothing on the skin. It feels so natural, not cakey at all. But at the same time, it'll prevent your concealers from settling in those fine lines and creasing while setting and mattifying the face. It looks very natural, especially when somebody is looking at you from up close. You want your skin to look like skin and not cakey. And that's what this powder does. I kept this makeup on for about 8 hours, it did not move, it did not crease, it did not feel cakey or dry but after about 6 hours I had to do a light touch up of the powder because especially in my t-zone I felt a little bit oily but other than that I think it's an excellent product. I've always faced a problem where powders tend to cake up on me but if I don't set my concealers the concealers tend to crease so I think this solves both those problems. I would love to hear your thoughts, so comment below. Have you tried this product? If not, the link is in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to watch more videos like these. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.